I'm here to buy the ingredients for tonight's dinner, but what's my budget? Just this 10 euro note. So I'd better stick to the ingredients on my list. But just like me and my simple grocery shopping, Europe too has a recipe for its own budget. And how that's decided and where all the money comes from lays the foundations for the future. So what's it all about? Time to take a closer look. The multi-annual financial framework, or MFF, is commonly referred to as the EU budget. The current 960 billion euro budget came into force in 2014 and runs till 2020. But technically, it's not a budget, it's a guidebook in spending. Confused? Let's break it down. The EU budget comes from contributions by member states and is divided into three parts. A fixed percentage of their gross national income, custom duties on imports from outside the EU and a percentage of VAT income. And where does all that money go? Well, what each sector or policy area receives is allocated across the seven-year fixed period. For example, the Common Agricultural Policy gets 312 billion euros, research and innovation almost 80 billion euros and youth employment initiatives 3 billion euros, to name but a few. How the budget works is easily explained through a simple demonstration. What each country pays in depends on the size of their economy. Germany having the largest puts in the biggest chunk followed by France and the UK. In fact, along with Spain and Italy, half the budget is already paid for. So what countries like, say, Luxembourg or Slovenia put in pale in comparison? But remember that these are smaller economies. Greece, for example, pays a big proportion of its gross national income to the EU, but it gets back a lot more than it pays in. But remember that the budget is all about balance. In 1984, British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher negotiated a rebate on the basis that too much British coin went into the common agricultural policy, for which British farmers didn't benefit. So now the UK gets back 66% of the difference between what they pay in and what they get back. But the UK isn't alone. Germany, Austria, Sweden and the Netherlands all take back some of what they put in. Ta-da! OK, dinner's served. Let's ask you to put that there. The big idea behind the budget has been to boost the standard of living, especially after the crisis. The focus of this multi-year budget has been growth in jobs. Mm. Mm. All three institutions have a say in the budget, but as we've seen, it can be a tug of war. Member states wanted spending cuts, but Parliament wanted more money to invest in Europe's future. Fighting also broke out over own resources, how countries contribute to the budget. A financial transaction tax was put forward as one of the few alternatives to the current system. After two and a half years, they all shook hands and the current system of contributions remains as it is for now. So just like we're tucking into our well-prepared meal, so is Europe. But what shape will the next EU budget take? Well, that's another story.